Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and today we're going to work on a little redstone. But first, let me, uh, I need to, I need to get the unmute Discord button over to somewhere where it's a little bit easier to, to trigger. Did I get it? Are you there? You got it. Okay, sweet. All right. So, uh, before I forget... I got on over the weekend and worked on the lighting project a little bit. So there's only two small bits that are not lit up. One of them I'm waiting for rest and one of them I'm waiting for an idea. Uh, so let me... Uh, these should be all set to trigger when, uh, when it is nighttime. But let me... Grab that bit of redstone real quick. That should turn all the lights on. And as far as I can tell, uh, the community center is not so far stretched out that all the lights don't uh, hit when it triggers. But let me uh, get a little more altitude here. Uh, there are no lights uh, leading around the... Uh, oh. uh, smelting oh. array to the Blue Lagoon. Yes, uh, from the iron farm to the lagoon has not been wired up because Reyest hasn't decided what she's going to do with the bridge. And what she does with the bridge is going to help me figure out what I'm going to do for wiring. The other part that hasn't been done is that little stretch of soul sand over to Arcadius's little guard tower. Um, i got to figure out if I'm going to bother trying to cross power under the water or just find another spot to put a second uh, whatchamacallit uh, daylight sensor but everything else should be all set I got all the way up to the bee farm around the over by the stable or the feature stable uh, twice because there was a small unfortunate incident with a creeper um, during production of uh said redstone that that might it might have been a good thing that that happened off stream I might have uttered some unmentionable words well you can mention them not on air <laughs> you can <laughs> no 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 we try to set a better example than that no, I'm just saying you, you could if you really wanted to but everything, everything seems to be pretty good. Uh, we got, that alley is still kind of dark, so we're going to have to get some lighting down there. That's a, that, that's the dangerous part of town. Don't, don't go walk in the back alley between the community storage and <laughs> the trading hall. <laughs> 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 that's, uh, that's where, that's where some skeleton is going to hold you up for all you're worth. I, I would be curious, though, to start knocking out some of the torches, like in that strip of grass between the community storage and the wool farm, and see just how much light the the lant. Oh, that's not a rocket. That's a rocket. Just see how much light uh, we get from the path lighting, and how much we need to add in the form of. Um... Why are there? Did somebody remove the? Uh slime block again because there's two iron golems in the church how <laughs> maybe they're they're trying to repent <laughs> how did they get how or are they left over from uh, the last time Arcadius th thought uh, thought he understood where uh, yeah he, he, he thought that we had only put the slime block up there to have the production rate. That wasn't why we put the slime block up. We put the slime block up to, to stop them from spawning in the church until the roof was complete. And then he goes, hey, uh, by the way, there's a problem with your iron farm. Like, no, there's not a problem with the iron farm. There's a problem with uh, somebody moving stuff. That doesn't explain where these two came from. All right. Let's do this uh, smarter than I did the last time. Clear those guys out so the villagers don't... Normally, I, I, I'd like to just leave them 
maybe push them down to the first floor and name them Usher. Um, but I don't want the villagers to accidentally recognize them and think that they've already spawned an iron golem because that will mess with the uh, production rates. And that would be a shame because we need more iron. We don't have enough iron. Especially not now that Reyes has decided to decorate with it. Oh. What was that? Is that you shooting at me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, man. <laughs> not, not bad shot from way up here in the EFK platform. <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> Uh, it's actually I, I before I slept I should have flown up there to to show what it looks like with the uh, the lights all lit up during the night. Yeah, that's, it's that's a pretty good view from up here. Yeah, that's where I'll stand looking. It yeah. looks pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, now for one of the fun projects, not not the tree farm. That's uh, I'm going to need to grab a second computer so I can have something up on uh with my camera account up and then uh, use that to help me figure out what is going on with those. Turn the lights back off. They're now hooked up. So when that daylight sensor detects that it is nighttime, all the lights should click on um, at some point, not right now, but at some point, I'm going to need to come back and redo this bit of redstone. Um, because I forgot that the power level coming off of the daylight sensor is dependent upon the amount of daylight. So it doesn't click on immediately at night. And it clicks on in the early dawn before all the zombies start uh, dying due to sunlight poisoning. So I, I need to set this up so to extend the lights to, to turn on a little bit earlier in the evening and turn off a little bit uh, later in the morning. But that requires more knowledge of how the daylight sensor works than I currently possess. So that will get tucked away for a future upgrade. Also, I'm not sure that I have room down here to do that too. It might even require more than one daylight sensor to uh, to make that work. Actually, I'm about 60% sure that's going to require more than one daylight sensor. So that, we'll have to wait until another day. Here, here's where today's project's going to be. Uh, be prepared for frustrated noises and <laughs> long looks uh, and moments of awkward quiet as, as I try to figure out. Um, yeah, we put stuff away. Before. Hey, I just got the notification that you went live. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I've been talking about upgrading this input system for the storage for a while there's two problems that I want to fix one of which is like right now I got the nine iron ingots that I want to put into storage it takes a while for them to make their way from the input all the way around here all through here till they finally get to that box up there it means that when I don't have a lot or I know I don't have time to wait for it to make its way through storage I, I tend to not use the sorting system, which kind of defeats the purpose of having an automated storage system. Um, so what I want to do is I want to set it up so there's a little switch. Probably It's probably going to end up right here. Um, that you turn that, you, you turn the switch on one way or the other and it sets it and it locks that input chest so that way you can load up the chest with whatever needs to go into storage eventually you can even set up the shulker unloader and, and start unloading shulker boxes into the queue but it doesn't actually enter the storage system until you're ready to go afk for a little bit uh at least that's the idea the other thing that i want to fix is 
the the rate at which items get shot out into the system is fast enough that our bulk storage isn't always picking up all the items that it should pick up. So stone and cobble and whatnot, well, not so much cobble because I think most of us are using uh, silk touch picks, but you get the idea. Bulk storage items are getting missed on their way across because too too many too many are are hitting the inputs at once. So I need to slow down the the rate at which items are ejected in out of the input queue and into the storage system. So I hope to fix that too, because that's that's what all this was supposed to do theoretically. Uh, it, it was supposed to set it up so that way uh, items trickled in to the dropper at, at a slower rate. Um, yeah, that didn't work out. So I I have half an idea of how I think that might work. And the foxes are already laughing at me. That's not a good sign. And, and well, we, we shall see how this goes. Okay. Hmm. Well, that is going to make it interesting now, isn't it? All right. That guy right there. Okay. Tear up all this redstone over here. Being very mindful because we have water. <laughs> and if you didn't know, water and redstone, they don't mix so much. I also never figured out how to get this set up so that way um, it locked the hoppers before breaking the shulker boxes so that way the shulker boxes didn't get entered into the system. Although I suspect with uh, the way I got this plan, what you could do is lock the input hopper, then break the shulkers, and you would just have to retrieve your shulker boxes out of, uh, out of the input. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. The donkey is mocking me now, too. That's not a good sign, either. Put that there for the moment. Right. So here's the... Probably like uh shouldn't have left my redstone boxes on the other side of where I'm working, should I have? I'm curious what you're clickety-clacketing about over there. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> that, that, that was an ominous nothing. No, nothing to see here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why, why am I struggling with that one? Guess if I needed to, I could put a switch on the front fit. Oh, put a switch on the front face of either one of those. Don't, I don't like that option though. I can always put one there. Let me have a nap and a coffee. Thank you, Arcadius.
I you for what? The coffee. And the nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, isn't that what coffee is? A nap and a cup? Alright, I guess before I start trying to figure out how how best to lock that hopper, I gotta make sure that act, that locking the hopper is actually gonna do what I think it's gonna do. Where is my redstone? Alright, so if I do that, that hopper should now be locked. Enabled is false. That's enabled is true. Because anytime you put a power source to a hopper, that locks it. Uh, locking gets a little weird because uh, if there was a hopper under this locked hopper, it could still pull whatever entered in there. So there are ways to get items into a locked hopper. It just won't pull items itself. So, if I can figure out how best to power that... Wait, am I, am I overcomplicating this? I think I'm overcomplicating this. You are. Uh, you know... I'd say something about not helping, but... I, I don't... I don't know if that's any better or worse. I kind of wish I'd kind of wish I'd thought about these considerations back before you know the walls of the building went up, and it would have been easier to get around from one side to the other. Um, oh. I needed something out of that redstone box, you know, before I walked around the corner. Let's grab some storage. Shall we? Do I need to shrink the chain back some? Hmm. No. Oh. Oh. And I fail. Yeah, I, I need to I need to spend a little time over at the uh, raid farm. I've already gone through a couple of uh, totems here lately. Right, so if that's powered that oh <laughs> don't laugh at me <laughs> there okay. is a slight issue though uh -oh. you're gonna have to swim down and uh, get out that way oh. or I can just do that <laughs> Might just be it. Should I strip the rest of this wood or no? Uh, actually, um, that's not looking the way I wanted it to look. You guys working on that platform up by the uh, volcano? Hmm? We're working on a project. <laughs> oh, um. There's empty space under there. What's under there? Oh. Oh, that's right over the note blocks. Uh. I'll be right back. I want to change some things. Okay. I was going to say, I can shorten the chain if we need to. No. You got to play that. the full solo. If you're going to play the chain, you got to play the whole song. You playing around with my, uh. My note blocks, good sir. No, I didn't Breaking. touch your note blocks. I didn't realize that they ran it, that close to yourself. Huh? <laughs> I said you break it, you get to tune it yourself. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, I, I get to restore from backup myself. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of tuning things, sound of uh, Steve is in the chat room. Hello, sound of Steve. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, tuning things. He's supposed to hook me up with some uh, sheet music here. Oh, really? Okay. 
pull on his leg. That was like a year ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Signs make everything better, right? Well, that didn't sound healthy. And a wild Arcadius appears. What? for now it is <laughs> it works after a fashion <laughs> can't believe that I I expected to have to engineer something a little more convoluted than that and I might I might I might go back and make something a little more convoluted anyway um, actually what can I do because I'd really like to get to get that lever to be there instead because I don't like having that divot in the ground ah, no 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 suffocating no suffocating Is an option. Let me see if I can get that to work first. I don't have to walk that hopper immediately under there, do I? I could. Redstone dust there. Just power. I do that. simple? It could probably be that simple. Oh. Mm. Alright, let's get some control so we know there's a redstone circuit.
That is not naval. Anything in the box is not going to get pulled. And then that, it is now enabled, which means anything put in the box gets pulled. Okay. Yeah, I like that version a lot better. It also means one less divot in the ground. Alright, so this... Hello, Beach Duck. How are you doing today? Hello, Beach Duck. Does that make sense? If I say switches up hold items, if I say switches down store items? The hold items means uh, that everything's yep. going to sit in the input chest until you hit the switch down. I should probably sleep too. Somebody needs to. I mean, Reyes isn't here to sleep. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was delayed on my part. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, hey, what you did with the bass, come up here and do it too. You bass. like it better? I haven't played any bass. I think so. Let me see. Uh, yes. I was just switching to see if you liked it better, because I don't know, the texture just felt off. Yes, I did. I do. So that gets that squared away. Uh, and then the side thing. So the top and the side, that's uh, one of the side pieces. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I need to crank you up in my volume. I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Exactly. Go ahead and say it one more time for me. So do the top. Say what? And then the side of it. Say what again? What side? Handle. Hi, Beach Duck. I am working on the redstone yeah, for the storage no system. They off. are working on another project that they're being strangely quiet about. Uncharacteristically quiet about, even. Gonna put the carpet down so nothing spawns back here. Those guys are good. So the lever on the other side will lock and unlock that hopper feeding into there. Which solves Ooh. one of the two problems I set out to do. And it's only uh, a half hour in. Don't put a top on it yet. Okay. I got another idea. Uh oh. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Another idea is about to happen. I have the uh, concrete, so. Okay. All right. Let me grab. <sighs> so here's what I want to do. <laughs> it doesn't help when we're both mumbling to, to our old selves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're like, hmm, I need to do that. You're like, oh, okay, and then here's what I need to do. I wasn't <laughs> going to say anything about it. Oh. All right, I'll have to get some more carpet for there. This is what I think I need to do. I know I need to compare. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Yes, uh, I still need to customize rewards. I still need to customize emotes. I still need to set some VIPs. 
and, and a whole bunch of channel stuff that I meant to do Monday, but I got out of work late. And then I got to the store late. Of course, oh, I wouldn't want to say anything. I, I, I got out late because uh, I got the employee pricing back on a new... Baritone ukulele. That sounds glorious. And it's set up very well, I might add. Has nothing to do with the fact that I, I, I did the repairs to it recently. Nothing at all. Nope. Alright. Nope, um, that wasn't a humble brag. Nope. That would require humility. <laughs> I need some more green carpet back here. And I need another color. Oh! Huh! I never noticed that. Since there's only carpet over the lighting and no actual blocks, the rain falls through the uh, carpet. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Do, do you guys need some supervision? Do, do, are, are you okay? <laughs> That was that was Arcadius not telling me that he took the bottom out so whenever I flew into it expecting to land instead I fall right into lava. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. Oh my goodness. I, was, I see how it's not supposed to happen. <laughs> that, that was funny. All right. Yeah, I never noticed that the rain flows through the, the carpet short. there. Huh. That's... That just feels kind of wrong. Don't change it. Don't worry about it. Alright. Focus, 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 focus. Sorry. Focus has also been... <laughs> focus has also been a big problem here lately. Uh, oh. I need... All right, I was going to say, surely I've got a couple of hoppers around here somewhere. I don't know. I'll need a few of those. I'm sure before this is done, I'll need a few of those. I'm sure before this is done. And... Hmm. Okay, the floor is back in position. No, it's not. I'm looking straight down into a lava lava hole. Is the most compact way I can do this. Oh. There. <laughs> um. Oh, no. I want this to run. Don't, don't worry about it. Arcadius. I already got it. Nope, right. don't worry about it, because I, I need to uh, change it. Oh, uh, okay. You'll, you'll see why in a second. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got this. I think I got this. I think I can. If there's an item in there, that will turn off. Oh, because that is one of the other problems that we had with the old setup is uh, too many items could cause the the dropper to back up, or the dispenser, no, dropper, the dropper to back up, and the whole thing could lock up potentially. Potentially. So I'm hoping that with what I'm about to do here, we can... Uh, we can do away with that problem. All right, and then we do. Because as long as there's an item in there, that hopper um, is unlocked. 
I do need to, need you to make sure that there is something underneath. Uh, two, three. This three by three. Okay. Uh, is there a reason that's dirt? Yeah, I, you'll <laughs> see. But okay. I, yes, there's a reason. <laughs> I need I need a three by I need to make sure that, that three by three has something under it uh, temporarily. I'll get you. These are temporary blocks, not permanent, right? Correct. Notice when we leave. There you go. There's something under everything. All right. Uh, I need under all of them. Yeah. Composters okay. or composters, depending on where you're from. So the idea if I put that in there. While there's no items in here, that hopper is locked. When put five of those in there. They're not gonna go again. Wait. Oh, because I just locked the other hopper. Doggone it. Never mind. That's not gonna work. Back to the drawing board. Hmm. Alright, so I can't have... Well, the idea was... You unlock the hoppers, and then it would drain items in, triggering a pulse. Then the items would flow back out, triggering a pulse, and they'd flow back in, triggering a pulse. And you could control the spacing between the different pulses based off of uh, how many items you put in the hopper loop. But if I have the hoppers next to that block that is powered, then this doesn't work. And if I don't try to invert it like that, then it also doesn't work because then the hoppers are un unlocked all the time. And we don't need this running when nobody's around. That's not very good server resource management. Although. Who says. Gotta use that. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, Let's uh, move this over this way. Hello, Rest. Too far up. If only you were in voice chat. Just need to move this up one. I can do that. <laughs> the lighting done? Uh, the lighting is Good. nearly done. the The only two Just sections one? that aren't done are the little bit yeah. of uh, dirt, the the soul dirt path over by Arcadius's guardhouse, and the road up to the pond. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There are sad things. Obviously, the lighting project is not done. Uh, my part of the I will light up all the lamps is done. At least until you get the bridge built. Well, there was a friend, and he was on the path. On the path to where? To 
to everywhere. Enlightenment. <laughs> and he said a boom. <laughs> It was at the intersection of the stables, the honey place, and the place where we'd steal the villagers outside of the building. It's not stealing if they're your villagers in the first place. Oh. Not over here. I need a companion. Why did you just make a weird noise? I'm trying to figure something out, and it's not working the way I wanted it to. Sounds painful. Let's try this again. I need blue trees. Where I get blue trees? Hang on. I'm, I'm trying to puzzle out some redstone. Oh, have fun. Honey, do you want to escort me to the nether? In the middle of project. What is going on here? What project? Oh, wait, I have some. Okay, that's good to know. that usually for these sorts of things to work you gotta lock one and then lock the other. Hello Pink Geek. Alright, uh, hey, I guess we're doing Hello, Pink. full on Ethan Hopper Clock? Really wasn't expecting to do something quite that excessive, but <laughs> now you see. <laughs> what? Why are you Talk, talk laughing? Talking about Arcadius. What? Huh? About what? Oh, Lord Reyes, if you don't want to wait for the surprise, then come up here with us. Uh, Beach Tech was in chat. Sent blocks ready to come down. I'm not sure where. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's there now. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it not doing a thing anymore? What's that? It's bubbling. Oh, but you can't see it from the side. Oop, I can't. Oop, oop. <sighs> Ow. Hmm? <laughs> I flew into the mountain. Oh. Well, why'd you do that? It wasn't intentional. Why are there tea leaves in the coffee pot? Why are there... What? You stinky oh, well, surprise thing. Yeah, there you oh. go. We were making a big coffee pot. Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew. <laughs> no. Here, we'll put something more uh, realistic in I don't know what you missed because they're, they're off on another project while I am double-checking how this works. I'm having a short-term memory moment. Can't remember what it's called. I can't see the bubbles from the side. I don't see bubbles. Are there bubbles? There are look are at bubbles the, the one in front of me. See bubbles. There's none in the middle, but... I don't think there's supposed to be bubbles if you did it right. Well, no, that was the whole reason why I did that, is so you can see the you can see it bubbling. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, having to make this the old-fashioned way, so it's going to have to boil. All right. So I'm going to need two sticks. Each duck has long-time memory loss. What's that? Uh, it's possibly even long-term memory loss. I mean, when you have it for such a long time. 
Arcades. Hmm. Um. No, this is not the coffee pot. They are in a different part uh, than where I am. We're, we're all working on independent projects together. Wait, does that make sense? Uh, we need to keep ice from forming. <laughs> we need, uh, uh... I don't know. You can make iced coffee. Use black carpet to make the lid. They're up there. It'll look like a little flimsy piece of plastic that goes on top. You mean the, the piece of plastic that causes somebody to spill the coffee all the time? I think I need you to be less snarky. Uh, you've needed that for many, many years. I don't think that's going to change. What's your particle settings at? Are they too low? Hmm? They're too? I don't know. Fucking a medic. He's saying you can't see the bubbles from over, from through the glass. I'm wondering if his particle settings are too low. Possibly. Do we have another piece of uh, soul sand for the middle, or do you not think we need it? No, I have one. I was just I was having a hard time getting in there, so I just didn't bother with it. Let's try. Piston there. Sticky mm -hmm. piston there. A redstone block there. Um, that taken Arcadius does not want to dig for me on this day. Uh, I believe Arcadius mm -hmm. is preoccupied with other problems. Tired of these foxes laughing at me. You can just project him, sir. I don't think they're laughing at you. They ain't laughing with him. <laughs> that. Well, I mean. further over um, my flex. what about blackstone slabs would that work because I don't think you can suspend carpet over water um you yeah, you can uh, you, okay never mind you can asterisk it depends on how you go about it just gotta do it very carefully <laughs> thank you captain understatement isn't that the rule of all things? What, that you gotta do them very carefully? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, that's not gonna work either now, is it? Signal. Hang on, did a piece of ice still form over there? Yeah, it's going to at this altitude. Even with the carpet on top? Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Okay. Um... I mean, it could be frozen coffee, and that's why we're heating it up like this. Oh, who doesn't like iced coffee? 
iced coffee is easy to mess up. Well, uh, it depends on... Like, yeah. that's the test of a good barista. Like, anybody can push the button on a machine and make, like, decent hot coffee, but to make, like... Uh, wait, anybody can make some decent hot coffee? Just about. You, you sure you want to go with that one? Okay. Anybody who's trying. <laughs> I, I, I don't know that that significantly changes it, but, uh... It does. Because some people don't even know how to try. And we are saddened for those people. And by those people. Mm -hmm. Anyone should be able to. Yeah, you hear me? I'm okay with it. At this point, I think it's no. just we leave it for the... No. Don't be grumbly. Look at what, what, what are you knowing about? There are angry people outside. Oh, is the oh, wandering me, inspection me, team available? We've got this. Uh, we got this new thing up here called a bed. Let me go. There we go. Oh, that should take care of the bad guys. I don't use those. Yeah, it's this weird new game feature. Those are you. <laughs> Are they? is nearby. I already slept like yeah. seven times last yeah, stream, not... so I shouldn't have to stream the. Re I shouldn't have to sleep the rest of the season. They're not mine because if they were mine, they would be coming in here after me. And, hard come and I'm underground, so they're not mine. <laughs> right there. Hmm. All right. Comparators can read. A container Here's behind the question. Do one I block. drop like redstone torches on this to keep snow from collecting? So or... that means this comparator will still redstone read torches the make it look like it's the of that drop. I'd lights on it. Or Coffee comes with night lights. String it. And then... Huh? string on it. Oh, are you decorating with the iron blocks? Huh? Are you surprised? Uh, I should be. I I really I really I feel like I why. should be, but You have to work on medic. All right, so that's going to be there. Need... Does someone uh, help me beautify the underground? Uh, since I tore up all the redstone in the in the storage system, probably not yet. What? I'm upgrading the redstone in the storage. Okay. Was this something we needed? Yes. Because you'll now be able to leave it unattended. Or not unattended. Oh! Not, not, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, before you misunderstand what I just said. Not, not so much. Oh, I didn't even know I did me on you. No, so you'll be able to fill up the box and then hit the lever. Oh, 
Um, I heard unattended. No. You heard incorrectly. That's what you said. Oh, I recorded clip. Somebody clippy that. <laughs> that, nope, that's not going to work there, is snippy, it? Snippy, snippy. Oh, no. Why is there water there? There might have just been water under the ground. Yeah. Uh, over by the redstone? You know where the the river is? No, I'm not near the river. I'm near the sheep. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a bunch of water under there. Did, did you not see me when I worked on that the last time? So you just washed away all that redstone? No. So you're going to hurry up and try to guess and figure out how it is so it doesn't look like you washed out all that redstone? No, I legit didn't. I'm very okay. fortunate that uh, because I was doing this uh, one block wider than I had to, <laughs> so that if we were ever digging in this area or digging up, we would see the iron before anything. Um... Yeah, I'm just really fortunate that it already had a little well to go in and it didn't spread all over the place. Were I not being extra with my flex, though, <laughs> we would have been in a very big world of hurt. So you're welcome for being extra with my flex. You are extra. Okay. Was your point to say ridiculous and semi-obvious things? No. Okay. Because I don't think there's a single person anywhere on this stream, on this server, that doesn't expect a certain amount of genesis extra. Whose bright idea was it to leave such a small space for this part of the redstone? Probably the person who told me to dig everything too high. Too high or not high enough? Or too high as in... No, too high. Literally, one like... One more than numeric. one and one less than three. Exactly. I feel like we're talking about two very different things. I mean, that wouldn't be the I first like time. I feel it doesn't but... matter. <clears throat> really? I feel like it makes for entertaining TV. That's an opinion Speaking some people have. Speaking of entertaining TV, what happened today with the thing? With what thing? The the wives. And oh. the socializing, I didn't get to watch it. <laughs> uh, yes. For episode 1000 of First Ring Daily, uh, Paul Thorat and Brad Sams, the normal hosts, had their wives do a QA. and a And it, it was funny. It was great. It was wonderful. Um, Stephanie Thorat was clearly a little more comfortable doing the, doing the podcast. I'm not entirely sure if there's a, a reason why or, you know, the whys and what for is on that. But she was very definitely a lot, a lot more comfortable in front of the mic running, low-key running the show. Um, Brad's wife whose name I forget because I'm being asked what it is right <laughs> yeah. uh, Sorry. I, I, I can't redstone and explain it at the same time, so let me pause the redstone. The uh, non-junior CPU limit just pegged out trying to do both of those at once. Um, 
So Brad had his wife do the ad reads, and she did an absolutely amazing, flawless ad read, and then goes, yeah, I have no idea what any of that is, but it sounds really cool. And uh, it, it was, the, the long and the short was, is that it was, uh, it was wonderful. It was all sorts of wonderful. So what did they talk about? Um, it was all listener questions. Oh, so like literally the meandering that is listener Q&A. Um, well, you know, th there was some stuff like, you know, do you listen to your husband's podcast and stuff? And he goes, no. Uh, Brad's wife goes, I do now that we're on lockdown because my work from home office is right above his studio. So I hear the podcast that they're doing through the floorboards. So yes, I do listen to the podcast, but no, I do not go out on the internet and actively seek it out. Um, <laughs> yeah, there are some questions about stuff like, is there anything that, uh, their listeners would be surprised to learn about them. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, I, I, for, I forget what Thorat's wife said about him. Uh, but Brad Sam's wife goes, yeah, my husband has the biggest sweet tooth and will eat everybody's candy. Mine our daughters, his, who's ever happens to be around. And after 11 years of marriage, he finally, uh, <laughs> finally starts, uh, or what was it that she said? After 11 years of marriage, he, he's finally actually putting the replacement roll of toilet paper on the thing instead of just setting it down next to, next to the sink. Oh. I was like, uh, okay. You really had to call a man out like that, but... Yep. I'm calling him out. She's giving him props. Uh-huh. Nah. <laughs> you, you, you need, he finally you, figured his life out. You needed to hear the tone that went with that one. I don't think I needed to hear the tone. You need, like, one more block's worth of space. Oh, that's right. I was going to try. Traitor! Three. Yeah. I saw him. Or I saw the message. Traitor time. Traitor time. <laughs> that is probably like the single most uh, loved data pack that we've added. Traitor time? Yes. The Everyone wandering trader. trader time. Everyone loves trader time, except for the trader. Well, he loves it for a little while. He doesn't realize how much he's not going to love it. All right. Um, like, dude, you're going to give me all these emeralds? This is awesome. Until it's no longer awesome. Somewhere near the near the uh, community storage. Beyond that, I couldn't say. I know I have to make room first. Oh no! What? I require the following things. Oh. Oh. Arcadius is head is Totoro again?
Weird. Um. Yeah, that that's the one from. Uh, sorry, that. Um, I wanted that on the other side, didn't I? Yes. Anyway, can someone go fetch things while I talk to him? Give me a second. I'm not near the community center. Hold on. Okay. Crimson Plank. Okay. One Podzel. Oh, that's that, that's too that's too long. Um, if I were raised, there it is. Top right. I love how you're not even looking at his screen. Okay. One fully constructed melon. As opposed to a deconstructed melon? Yeah, that's what melon slices are. One dried kelp block. Okay. One black stone. block Prismarine brick. One partridge in a pear tree. No, those aren't square. Okay. They're not. One horn coral. For a second, I yellow, thought you were going to say one horn of plenty, and I was like, no, 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 no. One horn coral block. Yeah, the the cube okay. part, the cube one. Okay. One granite, granite, granite. Depends on what country you're from. <laughs> yeah, that's always a fun one. Okay. Many emeralds. <laughs> that is all.
Can we retexture the totems? Into what? Cute. Okay. Uh, I need more than just cute. Make it look like a jumbo pig. <laughs> and what? Set it as a squeaky toy that goes off when uh whenever you Yes. There you go. Right behind you. Thank you. And record the jubba going after the squeaky toy. No, don't run away! Hey, stop. Huh? Okay, that's not working. Why is this not working? In theory, the dropper is full, it powers that block, which turns that redstone torch off, which unlocks this, so these items can go back and forth from hopper to hopper in a normal hopper clock. And the idea is, every time... Every time we get, um, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm making this harder than it has to be. No. Nah. <laughs> no. Uh, never. Uh, where'd all my signs go? Oh, what signs? My my pictures on my walls. That, that that doesn't answer the question. What signs? Outside my building, they keep despawning. De uh, is it that they're despawning, or they're getting knocked off by stuff and nobody's noticing? Because mm -hmm. that is that that's actually what I suspect is happening. I were a non-junior, where would I put an extra observer? There we go. Uh, I want this guy facing that way. Your box is in your mailbox, sir. Thank you. No, I don't want him facing that way. Some of those look really cute. Some of those what? Mini blocks. Did you look at them? Not yet. Oh. Change is not triggering. Where'd you guys go? Why is that change not triggering the observer? All right. Um. Because mm. he's looking in the wrong direction. That's why. Let's try now. The lights are not coming on and it's night. Uh, it's not dark enough yet. Alright, let's go. Watch that guy there. Oh, look how pretty it is. Uh, <laughs> I, I love how you say that, and the next thing I hear are phantoms in the sky. Not mine. Not mine. Oh, they mine. <laughs> and they're not happy. Yeah, they usually aren't.
Let's try this again. Now that I got that working. There are a lot of them. Are there mm -hmm. more for the longer I don't sleep? Yes. Mm, yep. Oh. That's a whole heck of a lot. Okay. <gasps> Is that a new wandering trader? I don't know. I just saw the text when I slept. No. That's the same guy. Oh. That's depressing. Hey, Blackjack, how you doing? Sorry. I I, <laughs> I am exceptionally focused on a an intriguing redstone problem. Oh, no. The, Wait, did uh, nobody kill him? Mm -hmm. We've got this automated oh, storage system here. And... Oh, no. oh you guys usually uh, turn kill him the second I turn around. Sorry, I'm also getting distracted by Ray Aston Company. Um, the problem is... Items are cycling through here faster than the storage system here can pick them up. So I'm trying to figure out a way to slow it down a little bit without slowing it down so much that uh, you get kind of cranky. <gasps> no! About stuff. no, 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 I'm on my way to rescue her. Nope, I got him. I got him. But there's there's bad people. Yes. This there's always bad people. When you don't sleep. How come this one's always on? How, how come this one, which is always on? There's a block. It's on, even though it's daylight. Which block? This one. This one. Obviously, this one. I mean, we've been taking directions from Arcadius. Which, where? Okay, right I literally here. just walked in the back of the storage unit to come get you. <laughs> Hold on. Stay where you are. <laughs> Wait, that's not staying. That's the opposite of staying. I just walked to the front. <laughs> Well, I just went to the back, and you said stay I'm there. I'm standing by the taco truck. <laughs> Timmy's taco truck? Yes, I'm did standing we ever, by the taco truck. Did we ever truck. give the taco truck a name? Uh -uh. Apparently, you just did. Oh. Huh. Of course, you would find the one... The loan. Feeling judged. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, I see why that is, why that is, and there's not much I can do about that. It's just gonna have to be an anomaly. I don't know why I'm putting dirt back there, because all you're gonna do is cover it up with. Uh, Yeah, not much I can do about that one. Just because of the way we gotta work the corner and the decline. Alright. Oh, uh, and so you know wrist. There's a new lever over here by the input chest and the shulker box unloader. I so, can see a button. Uh, cause it's not a button, it's a lever. Do you feel the face? Mm hmm. I might have seen okay. it once or twice. <laughs> when the lever is. Oh. I was like, where are you? No. Climb I'm the ladder. Stuck. Up the swimming. ladder. Up the ladder. No, I got stuck swimming. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Old items, store items. Okay, Blackjack. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oops. 
toute façon, alors on peut le <laughs> Yeah, because the problem we were running into is when we toss a bunch of storage yeah, into I the box, it, it would take, um, it would spit items out faster than the other side could manage. Um, the reason why you're running all that other stuff through? I ran four things, and the four things I found on the dead bodies that I just killed. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out a way to slow that down enough that uh, it, it runs things through here it, uh, at a speed that the, the bulk storage will actually pick up what it's supposed to. And I think I actually managed to finish that. Um, so the idea is as long... Oh, and the other problem we were running into is once this is running full throttle, uh, this dropper can actually fill up and it was clogging the old the old system. So any item from one to full will... This comparator will power this block, turning off that torch, unlocking this hopper clock. And then the hopper clock's going to run. Uh, so items will go from there into that one and then back into that one. And every time the clock cycles through, this observer is gonna spot the change in the comparator and then pulse that note block, which will be powered and power the dropper. I, I think I just made it sound more complicated than it is. Nah. And now I'm going to uh, carpet out the areas that aren't occupied <laughs> so that way uh, we don't run into any uh, unexpected friends if I have it on good authority the last thing you want are unexpected friends Yes. Or is that that not that kind of throat clearing? No, that wasn't that kind of throat clearing. Actually, I think that works. I, the the only way I'll know for sure is running running everything through the system again, and uh, and seeing if it breaks, <laughs> and seeing if we end up with stuff in overflow that we did not intend to be there. But that that lever is so that way we can fill up the input chest. Because unfortunately items take a while to go through the storage system. It is it's kind of complex. Uh, so the idea is that you can lock that box, load it up while you're going about your business, and then unlock it when you're getting ready to sit AFK for a bit and can run things through storage. Everything around here is carpeted or lit or both. But nothing should be spawning here. We got the composters over the hoppers so that way uh, it cuts down on lag. That's actually why we're not using a redstone dust in that corner there. Uh, typically you'd see people use redstone dust and then the repeater. But uh, for complicated technical reasons that causes lag. Lots of things cause lag, I hear. Mm-hmm. They do. That is actually one of the downsides of Java in general. That lots of things can cause lag. Alright, let's put that away. Let's put that away. What a... up some spare observers to keep in my box. Uh, 
I should probably, uh... something to nothing on an um, anvil changes. Honey? Uh oh. One of your little statue people is disassembled. Disassembled? disassembled? Mm-hmm. But number five is side. alive. No disassemble. That was awful. <laughs> and so old. <laughs> And I fear that I am literally maybe the only person in here who knows what you mean. No, I think I drooled a little bit because my IQ went down with that short circuit. I watched that movie a lot as a kid. I liked it uh, a lot. A lot doesn't begin to cover it. I think more so the second one, if I remember right. I don't think so. I think it was the first one. Maybe it was the first one. <laughs> Beach Duck's on here. Beach Duck. Which one did I watch more? Oh, Beach Duck is only kind of on. According to earlier chat. Beach Duck. I need to know a thing. Stone I need to test your dirt. knowledge of my childhood, please. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Another one what? Every time I come out here, another one has fallen. Another one what has fallen? Another one of his little people. Do you... Huh? The chest board. Oh, okay. That's not what it sounded like uh, was being spoken of before. <clears throat> Do we really have that many warped button? Oh, who made the massive warped buttons? Oh, um, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> by, by, by the by, medic, uh, you might want to run by your. Uh, uh, where all the saddles and stuff are. Because there was a an unfortunate creeper incident while I was working on the lighting project. And just kind of make sure that I set everything back up at least where it was. All these bulk storage items that got missed before should get picked up the next go-round. But I'm going to leave that on hold for the moment until somebody's going to be around here later. Because part of the problem is you can't leave this storage. You, you can't load stuff through this system and then leave. Uh, either logging out or going more than eight, eight chunks away, I think it is. Um, might be closer than that. Whatever it is, the radius that uh, stays loaded around a player. Otherwise, the storage system breaks, and admins get cranky about having to fix things. Admins get cranky? Tag on cranky admins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hate it when that I happens. I had no idea. I, I try to avoid cranky Never admins. Never heard of a cranky admin. Mm -hmm. It's a rare thing, indeed. Yeah. I'm glad I'm inside my mountain waiting for that lightning to strike. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was a creeper mishap over here when I was working on the lights. Huh. Well, how about that? I actually finished the uh, the project that I intended. Or at least I think I did. I won't know for sure until I get a chance to actually run items through. Oh, did I? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. I renamed it. Okay. Yeah.
Uh, I'm leaving the redstone backpack as it is for the moment. Because there's more lighting to be done, although the dirt can go back in storage. Yeah, and that's it for now. Hi, Joe. No, no, he's hiding behind it. <laughs> I'm sorry, the puppy you're looking for is hiding behind a different chair. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about that. About what? Uh, cats prefer sitting on beds and chests. You also can't open a <laughs> chest that a cat is sitting on. Seems a weird thing. Is it though? I mean, do, do you really put it past a cat to, uh, to not make his home in precisely the worst possible place? I mean, it wouldn't put it past a cat. Especially not the cats we have at work. <laughs> that bad, huh? Oh, um, bad. They're just, they're unique little creatures. <laughs> unique little creatures? Yes. That, that's, that's what we're going with? Intended. I said that exactly as intended. Exactly as intended. I don't dislike them, though. I thought I would dislike them a lot. Well, there there you go, folks. A ringing endorsement. I I, I didn't dislike them as much as I thought. <laughs> hey, if anyone here knew how I normally feel about cats, they would understand. Speaking of special, if you hear what? if you hear a squeaky toy being savaged in the background in about five minutes, it'll be because somebody just finished eating, and he got a new toy, and he loves his new toy. Papa apparently loves really squeaking does. his new toy at four in the morning too. Oh, he. <laughs> he loved that for two minutes. How in the world do you hear me squeaking my toy at four in the morning? <laughs> no, medic. This puppy. This lovable. This. This puppy about lost his life. And I'm pretty sure our neighbors think we have actual children as they hear me at 4 a.m. go out there. What are you doing? Go to bed! <laughs> oh, that's right. Paintings. That's what I was after. I was after some paintings. So I could try to replace the ones on the wall. Yeah, I wish I knew what happened with those guys. And are these guys despawning or are they getting shot by mobs? that are meandering about and oh, I another don't know. frame rate batman what just happened what is over here that is causing that weird lag spike the lighting thing Somebody turn on the, uh, no. Your storage unit, sir. Uh, the storage unit that's not running? Yep, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys love blaming it, but, uh... Honestly, there's 32 armor stands sitting there. It could be that. Uh, well, that's what I was wondering, too. Because uh, we're, we're on the, uh... We, we are a modestly funded server. I mean, honestly, if no one's ever going to play it, I might as well take it down. I mean... uh, we probably ought I to have a... I don't do fishing poles. Oh. Ah, doggone. There we go. A game day? 
uh, uh, a game area, like a spot for games. Return to my earlier complaint that I really wish you could pick a painting. Instead of having to cycle through and get a random, like, hmm, which five, which three by three painting will I get today? Some people struggle with those games. Can't imagine who. Yeah, I can't imagine who either. Is that the purple terracotta or the the other one that looks kind of purplish? Purple. No, it's purple. Magenta and violet? Why? Or... No, oh, I, I just didn't I realize that there was a sword-like design in the corner. Or maybe that's yes, just me passing the Rorschach dust. Hmm. Hmm. Does it look like a sword or does it look like something else? Yeah, I, I do wonder if some of the some of the problems with the paintings and that stuff is uh, zombies and skeletons getting into shooting matches with each other. Well, why are they doing that? That's what happens sometimes. Well, they need to quit those shenanigans. Yeah, they need to. Not going to happen, though. I expected that to take longer. I'm kind of happy about that. Oh, how did I get the purple glazed terracotta? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you lighting up the arena? I was just trying to light up a lot of the other stuff that's outside of the realm because I was tired of almost getting blown up. Yeah, you missed it earlier. Medic and I were talking about how you gotta really watch this alley at night. Uh, it's poorly lit. Skeletons will stick you up for everything you got. Oh. is going to be a constraint. I found a, a, a farm for all the, the two nether stems, the, the warp stem and crimson stem. Mm -hmm. And I might need to make that a priority over the standard log farm. Just because it's quicker. Why for? Because it's quicker, self-contained, and and then I can just feed it into that system up there. But I might need to clear out a little more space. Mm hmm. Hmm. I need to decide if I like this or not. Oh, the lights. Is there something in particular about that light that you don't like? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I probably also need to put together a project board. Something that'll help me keep all my stuff straight. I'll make that a project for next week. I'm going to do a project to make a project board to separate my projects. 
Uh, just, just to help me keep all my projects straight. Uh, you know. Uh, you need projects for your projects? I have some projects. Oh, I have plenty of projects. It, it's just trying to keep them all straight. That's the problem. Okay, I probably I also need to take a day to replenish our uh, redstone supplies too. Craft up a bunch of observers and that kind of thing. So that way we've got them on hand for when we need them. Arcadius. Uh oh. What? Uh, it's, Why is everyone you know, assume bad things? It depends on the tone. That's all. Honey. Right, there good. you go. Now comes the uh oh. <laughs> I mean, where is he? He's in his chair. Or is that not the question being asked? No, in the game. Uh, huh? Not listed as AFK. I'm gonna die trying to land on this thing. Land on which thing? The top of it. Oh man. I, I really, really like the look of the grindstone. But the uh, what? resource manager in me keeps looking at the resources that go to make those and, and Am I wrong for that? I'm probably a little wrong for that. You? Up at the, uh... Yeah. Coffee pot? Yeah. Uh, I also don't see the bubbles. But I also have particles set to low. Or the bubbles set to low, at least. Uh... I take it that ice at the top is what you were trying to avoid? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like iced coffee. And I've been at places where the bottom is scalding and the top is nearly frozen, and I really do and don't want to know how they did that. Also, if your coffee is that light, something's wrong. Although I don't think... I don't think there's a darker shade of brown, is there? Mm -mm. Nope. Mm. Then coffee? No, then the then the brown glass is there. Oh. Go with black, I mean. Well, I mean, if you're going to do the coffee right. Mm. Uh -oh. I'm just going to uh -oh. tell no, no, everyone no, 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 no. to see, like, every other episode that this topic has come up. What? You and your wrongness. People can only be helped that want to be helped. If black, if black co coffee is wrong, I don't want to be right. Well, then give me back the bacon. Hmm? Don't want to be right, so you, know, you can keep your white coffee and give me back the bacon. Uh, that might be or a challenge. Bacon. one that said you didn't want to be right. Here we can find you some fake in somewhere. Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> if that's all that's available, but, uh, no. Are all our sheep still here? All our Don't hate on faking. I like faking. Mm-mm. Why do we have three pigs down here now? Never mind. Are 
I guess I should probably actually uh, pick on the shears. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we should have done that a long time ago. Added those barrel, an extra barrel full of shears. That has saved us some trouble. Oh, oh my. We're using a lot of blue, aren't we? How do mm -hmm. you get off of a horse once you get on him? Uh, Never mind, I figured it shift. out. Farm needs to be another early, early season project, no? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're asking the wrong person. Yes. Yes. Iron and wool. Iron and wool. Okay. How, how are we getting more golems on... Over here. So move the slime block again. Oh, I don't think you put the slime block in the right place. name him Usher. Put him down on the first floor. Oh, man. Oh. And I need to Thursday I need to update all my game to revisited titles and everything because last Friday I finished season five of Games Revisited. So we finished Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. That was a fun game. If you haven't played it, you should play it. If you missed the whole series and you would like to watch it, then over on the YouTube channel, uh, I, I've got all the replays post. Well, almost all the replays posted. The last few episodes are rolling out this week, and the final episode of the series should air Friday, if I remember the schedule right. Thursday or Friday? Friday. Um, I apologize in advance. the The last few episodes got kind of long because the it's the final it's the final quest line. They don't exactly give you a whole lot of opportunity to. To, let me pause right here in the middle of uh, defending Citadel Station from the oncoming Sith invasion. Um, don't don't worry, they'll, they'll wait for you. <laughs> but uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2 is finished, and this Friday we're starting Season 6, playing Crystallis. A, a fun, fun RPG that I played way back in the day on the classic NES. And I, I, I both love and am slightly saddened by the fact that I had to highlight that it was the old NES, not because they said, oh, I don't remember that game for the Super Nintendo. Like, uh, no, that, that wasn't for the Super Nintendo. It was for the Nintendo Nintendo. When all you had was an A and a B and you liked it. You didn't have any of that newfangled X and Y, no shoulder buttons, and there were no ergonomic controllers either. Just a hard square edge, and it built character. It was great. It was great for two things: <laughs> playing games and beating your siblings, <laughs> or just handing them an unconnected controller. You were mean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
So that that's gonna start that's gonna start Friday. That probably won't that probably won't take as long. I fire to hazard to guess it's probably gonna be about as long as the Illusion of Gaia series, um, which took uh, fifty somewhere in the fifty episodes, fifty-ish. A minute. And I record six, six, six adjacent each week. So, uh, I don't know. Ma something, something math. Oh, that's right. I was going to go harvest these guys. Arcadius, I really need you to come check something out. Please and thank you. Get the other purple farm. Oh, anyway, so yeah, Thursday I'm going to update all the graphics and get everything ready for that tomorrow. Tomorrow, I, what I really need to do, I don't know if I'm going to get to it or not. I need to start getting a better handle on the controls for uh, Battlefield 5. So I may have picked that up while it was on sale. And, and I hear there's a couple of people that could really use a platoon that knows how to follow directions. And not, you know, steal command in the last minute. Oh, sadness. Is that sale over now? Uh, I think so. Uh, uh oops. And I've got, I don't know if you can actually see, yeah. Right, right over my shoulder there is a camera jerry-rigged to a microphone stand so I can start working on <laughs> recording uh, stuff for the Great Guitar Build-Off and some related, because uh, I want to start recording some repair, repair videos. And I've got a ukulele that is in need of a little bit of a setup. Not the baritone I just bought. I already set that up. Uh, the, the soprano that needed new strings and could use a little fretwork. Um, I was going to record that to test out the cameras because I have a couple of action cams that are both cheap and inexpensive. And I need to see if they'll actually work for my purposes or not. Um, I've also... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to use this mic for the audio work because uh, it's going to be in the way while I do that. Uh, so I'm breaking out my trusty uh, Radio Shack lavalier mic. Kids, ask your parents uh, what Radio Shack was. <laughs> Forever ago. That's what it was. Forever ago. I was going to say it wasn't that long ago, but when did Radio Shack finally cease to be a, a an ongoing concern? I mean, it, it at least Ooh, lasted longer really than Circuit... It, it at least lasted longer than Circuit City, didn't it? Uh, I think so, but I mean, you're the one who... No, that's not the one you worked at. What was the one that you worked at? No, I worked at Staples. There's still a thing, somehow. They've survived. And I guess as long as they keep giving uh, office max... I just remember calling 24 hours. <sighs> yeah, the staples that I worked at was open 24 hours, and uh, I worked second shift. I'd go to go to classes during the day, work at staples and second shift, and, you know, we had to answer welcome to 24-hour staples, and we would frequently get... What time do you guys close? Oh, we're sorry. We're open 24 we're hours. Right now. Yeah, but what time do you close? We don't close. We're open 24 hours. Yeah, and lots of fun. Uh, <laughs> that, that That's where I had some hard-earned lessons in patience. That and the people who would try to, to at midnight, walk in, pick up a printer off the off the off the rack like you didn't watch them do it 
and then bring it up and go, uh, I'd like to return this, but I don't have a receipt. Yes, I know you don't have a receipt because I watched you grab it off the wall. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, do, do, you, do you want me to pull up the recording? Because I can, I can pull up the recording and you walking through the door empty-handed. This is BS. I'm going to go to the other place. Uh, not quite that bad, but yeah. Yeah, you, you got the idea. Oh, that was one that we had. Oh, really? Yeah. This is abuse. I'm going to the other place. Yep. Hmm. Good luck with that. Yep, that's what I said. I went, hold on. Let me call ahead for you. <laughs> but, uh... I forget how we drifted over there. Oh, Radio Shack. So, we'll, we'll see how well that mic goes. My one concern is that it is a uh, rather omnidirectional microphone, and this is not a, a well-soundproofed corner. So, I'm curious if it's going to pick up every time Jabba rattles his collar as he walks on by, and just uh, how much extraneous noise it picks up. So I'll do a test recording, uh, doing some fret work on the ukulele, and maybe a couple other things. And then uh, if it goes well, I'll publish it on YouTube. If it doesn't go well, you'll know, because it never gets published to YouTube. Uh, and I hope, I hope to do some other routine maintenance stuff, although, listen... Please, some free advice. Wash your hands before you handle your instrument. I should not be able to Where look are we at. Going with I this? should. Huh? Where are we going with this? Look, some of these violins look like they ate a greasy calzone every day before orchestra class. Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, I gotta scrape it off with denatured alcohol and then apply sandpaper. Because the denatured alcohol cannot get it all off the instrument. Which also reminds me, clean your instrument when you're done. Wipe it down. A clean white, uh, a clean cotton cloth. N none of that microfiber bull feathers. Um... Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> well, it, I, I don't have to deal with the problem with microfibers so much as the woodwind people do. Because if you want to see the picture of frustration, watch a woodwind technician try to get a knotted up, clogged microfiber cloth in somebody's saxophone neck. As, as they have to take a drill to drill into the material to try to yank it out and then have to re-solder the, 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 some of the pieces that came loose as they yanked it free. Oh, and the microfiber doesn't clean as good as cotton. It doesn't absorb as much of the moisture. But it's great for buffing. Eh, it's okay for buffing. No. Uh, that's what I say every time somebody uh, puts a bunch of stickers on their thing, too. I don't mind stickers. I have stickers on the guitar cases that I own. It's the I own part that uh, makes that a little bit different. If you're renting it, um, and you get to turn it back in. So, some people have the... So that's what all the teachers tell them to do. So they can uh. tell them apart. Scraping fossilized stickers off of cases is um, not your favorite activity. No, 
No, not even a little bit. That looks nice. I like this. Thank you. Are you going to leave the rest of the square open? Yeah. Nice. I just wanted something a little open and kind of like uh, outdoor gazebo-y feeling, which is totally noun. Made it myself. Mm -hmm. um, You're basically a bard up in here. Exactly. <laughs> But now I want Arcadius to see to make sure he's okay with it since it's on his build, but he won't answer any of my calls. Uh, are you going to put something on top of the terracotta to keep things from spawning on those blocks? Actually, no, no, no. no. They, they, they're close enough to the uh, to the rods that that shouldn't be a problem? Question mark? Uh, oh, 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 lag. The lag. It's out. What's up? Oh, oh, oh. Mm. What'd you say? I've been at the raid farm. It's really hard to hear over those guys screaming. What's up? I oh, that your works too. Guys had incidents. Uh, yeah, one of my pawns is big sized and over here off the board. <laughs> Two of them are because somebody I I think shot them. Well, that's easy fix. That I just need to. Oh, I got pick it up, put it back, and. So, I made a lighting structure around it. Is this okay? Yeah, no, it looks good. And now like you don't it. have to have the torches on the board. Yeah. Oh. I'll fix those guys later. I have a, okay. I have a radar. Oh. <laughs> but it looks good? Yeah, that yeah. looks good. Yeah, no, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. What did you two think of the... Uh... The crane and the uh, coffee pot. I like it. Uh, we, we should darken up the coffee somehow. I just don't know how. Nah, uh, coffee wasn't my job. I did the crane. Ah. So, so you're just going to throw a medic under the bus like that? Yeah. I mean, he's used to it, so I, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like I'm surprised or anything. Well, you know, the way I look at it is, uh, if you're a true coffee lover, it doesn't matter what color the coffee is. I mean, you're going to like it. Honestly, you could probably just fill it up with soul sand, and that would be about the approximation of some of the coffee I've had. Oh. Well, mm. Honestly, I figured the reason it looks the way it does is because we reheated it five times, and that's why it's just sitting over the lava. Oh, right no, 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 no. Uh, look, 50% of the server. Uh, did that on the regular, so. <laughs> yeah. That, that's why That's why when you're teaching classes over at EMS Base, you get your coffee before you go to EMS Base. Because they use a different definition of fresh. Fresh means I just turned the hot plate back on. I'm not hearing anything wrong. I'm just saying. People make me so sad. How do you make invisible picture frames? You use the armor stand book. Okay. Uh oh. Where, where are you trying to make an invisible armor, uh, an invisible frame? Why? Because I worry sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Been mm. working on that for 35 years. How's it going <laughs> for you? <laughs> What worrying? Tell tell me the uh, tell me the secret place you're doing it. I won't say anything. You both special. Carefully. Mm. And you could always use uh, honey blocks as structure blocks. Oh, <laughs> okay. I see what you're doing.
I mean, let, let's be honest. If we're also talking about two EMTs making coffee, um, there, there's going to be a we few. We should put that in the bottom, huh? There, there should be some grounds in there. Like maybe a couple in the bottom and then use another armor stand to have one more floating up near the middle somewhere. Uh, it's not working. I don't, um, look at the edge just off of the, uh, at the edge of the block that the item frames on. Ah, okay. It's on the item frames page. I would lock it first and then make it invisible. If you lock it first, then nobody can move it until they unlock it with the book. Yeah, make sure you rotate those exactly where you want them. I locked it. Hmm? Okay. Then make it invisible. No, you didn't. I tried to. Are you not looking close enough? My book. There we go. Well, it won't let me turn it now. Okay, then yeah. But that's not where I wanted it. Alright, then unlock it and put it where you want it. Um, unlocking it didn't unlock it. Something's it, weird. It takes, it takes a second to update. Fixed item frame. Oh, there we go. Where do you want it? Like that. Item frames, fixed item frame, and it takes a second. Now it won't move. And now make it item invisible. Item frames, invisible. I'll sit them down, you do that. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I gotta be closer. Because this is the item frame, like, right in front of where you're at. You know, this is also how you set item frames in the uh, storage unit, so that way people don't uh, spin them when they go to open boxes. Yeah, you see how well I'm doing at this. Mm -hmm. We should put it in the pot. How do we get in there? Carefully. Will that mess up the water, though? Nah. Nah. Because that's not supposed to be ice up there anyway. It won't let me in. Is there a carpet on top? You might have to break yeah, the carpet. Yeah, and bubbles. Hmm. That's right, it's not going to let you in with the bubbles. <laughs> nope. Are you trying to shove my head in there? <laughs> what? Oh, I all of a sudden went down just like a little bit and it was like, is somebody trying to shove my head in there? No. I wouldn't do that on stream. Mm -hmm. I need to make a cocoa bean farm. We don't have a good farm yet. Yeah, we do. Uh, no. A couple of logs tucked in the corner is not a farm. <laughs> well, technically... It produces the product. It is a farm. Uh, yeah, but you get to actually, like, do work to do something about it. I'm talking about something that you just walk up and there it is. And why is there a random turtle up on the rocks over here? Hi. Go, go back in the water. Is there a reason you never capped off your mountain medic? Just never got around to it. Go, go back in the water. Been working on other things. Oh, 
looking at the uh, coal ore in the side of Medic's base reminded me. Did you see? Uh, did you see Corrales getting ready to work on Tango's uh, Among Us and Survival Minecraft? <laughs> All right, you know how you desperately, desperately hate when you see people like Tango and Mumbo and whatnot um, leave unmined ores in the walls of their project. Well, I yell at the screen like it's a football game. Mm -hmm. Well, Tango... The American kind. Tango did that. He And he left, like, a bunch of diamond in the wall, too. So, he's talking to Corrales about what he needs done. And every, every few minutes, Corrales just kind of, like, darts off to the side and grab some of the diamond ore out of the wall. Oh, sorry. What was that? No, no. I was paying attention. Huh? What? What was that? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. And it is... It is all sorts of wonderful. That's cute. Oh, wait, what, what you doing there, Corrales? Cleaning up? Hey, yeah, just tidying up a little bit. Like, why am I... Hmm. Okay. I need to... Uh... Styles. Show arts. Then I can give you a coffee bean. And then go... Apply gravity. No. Can you place a pickle anywhere? E almost anywhere. <gasps> Do we have colored candles yet? No, not until 1.17. <sighs> Why? Um... But they only glow if they have if they're underwater, right? Yes. That's good enough. Then we'll go. Keep the armor stand invisible. Then we're going to nudge. Nope. Uh, nope. This is a nudge. That's going to be positive. Negative three. Oh, that's right, because is not elevation. Y is elevation for some reason. He just made that decision. Put all of us there. Forward. Oh, there's ice under there. There 
go. And I want to make that invisible. And we'll sink that down another eight. There you go. I added a couple of uh, floating coffee grounds. Yay. Perfect. Now it looks like real coffee that they made. Just gotta do something about that ice. What do we do about the ice? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I actually finished a project I started off to do in the same episode I started it. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Alright, well it's really basic. <laughs> but, uh... Really basic, but... I at least gave our horses something better than what they were sitting at. So they're at least covered out of the weather now. <laughs> I can come back and finish fancying it up later. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Are we going to work uh, storage in here somewhere? So it's not just yeah. I'm going to sad stuff. I'm actually right now um, the upper area is just low lower slabs so nothing could spawn but I'm actually going to finish a secondary part of the roof and all the storage and everything's going to go up top I'll have some hay up there and hmm. nice you know various things I'll put in water troughs and and some of the the wonderful orange veggies that they like to eat mm -hmm. I, I hesitate to say it because Jeva likes those too and I don't want to get his uh, hopes up but this is just something very basic to uh, get them out of the rain and everything for now. That sounds nice. What? Getting out of the rain? No. As long as one of us can finish the roof. Yeah, I think that... Uh... That might be a project for this weekend. I've got an idea for how I want to do this. I just, I don't... I, I know the idea. I don't know how or if I can manage the execution. Hi, guys. That should have worked. I mean, technically, it needs to be one closer to the zombie to block their line of sight on them. But that should have still blocked their line of sight. Ah, well. No, you do. The voices in the sky. Alright. to thank you thank you for tuning in i hope you had fun uh i do this every tuesday at 6 30 p.m u.s eastern and usually joined by as much of the series available uh by the by both arcadius and x medic frog have twitch channels and they do stream on their own from time to time so if you aren't already following them do give them a follow follow here as well 
That way you'll get notified when we all go live. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, on Fridays I do another series called Games Revisited. It's a look back at classic games, games from my youth, uh, or at least that area, era, area. Uh, and next, th this this coming Friday, uh, the 20, whatever this, it's the 23rd now, so the Friday following, uh, at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I'm going to start the series on Crystallis. That is also when the last episode of Knights of the Old Republic will go up on YouTube. If you're not already following on YouTube, please do so there as well. The Coffee Craft live stream archives get uploaded there. The Games Revisited episodes get uploaded there. The guitar and other repair stuff that I'm going to start uploading will go up there as well. I am entered in the Great Guitar Build-Off 2021 in the Kit Building Competition, and all those videos will also go up on YouTube. So if you haven't already, go ahead and follow there. Uh, I'm not going to live stream any of the building, the, the guitar building or repair stuff because you don't want to see 30 minutes of sanding on live stream. Or maybe you do. If you do, let me know. Leave a comment somewhere. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. I don't want to do that. You don't want to see that. Um... And last but not least, we're, we're pretty much running the server and everything out of our out of my back pocket. So if you are enjoying this, if you're getting some help and you would like to give a little help back, live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page. You can tip, donate, however you want to think about it. I leave the amount up to you. That is a strict value for value thing. Um, I actually have subscriptions on the channel now, too. I'm not sure what I can and can't say on that, so I'll just leave that there and reread uh, the rules for Twitch. And with all that said and done, I'm going to pop up the end credit screen and see if there's uh, if there's somebody somebody to raid. So bear with me for just a minute, because I'm going to go over here and see who's, who's on. Oh, there we go. All right. So I am going to I'm going to go raid Beast Lord. Do stick with me. Do join in his channel. Uh, he's playing a classic game, The Legend of Dragoon, at least according to uh, to what he's got listed on, on Twitch. It, he's a fun guy. You should follow him. Definitely, definitely stick around and watch. Tell him I said hello. All right, let me uh, let me get the thing going. Have fun.